I think I just found the best way for you to create software and various full stack apps quite easily with the help of cursor and something called V0. This is something that is very simple to set up and this is something that I'll showcase throughout today's video. Now, we all heard of Cursor, a groundbreaking AI-centric IDE that can easily enable anyone to code with the help of AI. Recently, they had released Cursor Composer, which I made multiple videos on, and it greatly elevates how you can code with it. And the thing is, people have been making insane creations with this new tool. In this demo video, someone created a Chrome extension for easy virtual clothing trials on any e-commerce store. It uses the latest color models on Hugging Face and the output of different generations from Cursor Composer is truly insane. But the only problem is it's not so user friendly for people to configure and utilize the Composer feature, which is why I have a solution today. And the solution is V0 by Versal. This is a chat based web development companion where you can easily generate various components with this chat based app. Now, it's practically a free alternative to Cloud Artifacts, as you can get a visual view of your generations with the panel beside your chat interface. This way, you can easily visualize the components being generated by AI in real time. Now, you may ask yourself, why even use V0? Well, this is because it's currently, in my opinion, the best way for you to build UI components with guided prompts that are generated by Cursor's Composer feature. Now imagine if you are to combine this new chat-based web development companion with Cursor's Composer, which is an elite code-based tool to develop apps. Well, you're basically going to get the best of the best generations if you are to do so. In this demo video, which you see right now, this is an initial MVP that was developed within an hour and it's a highly interactive dashboard which tracks real estate in Denmark and it can do data analysis for you. Now, this is not your typical dashboard that would be generated by AI. This is something that is very interactive. It has components that are actually functional. And this is something that was fully developed with Cursor plus V0. And this is something that I'm going to be showcasing how you can do throughout today's video by combining both tools to help you create the best of the best applications that is out there. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. So let's get started. What you're gonna need to do is have V0 opened up on one of your browser tabs. And once you have done that, make sure that you have Cursor installed. You can install this for Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, and it's completely free to actually install. Once you have installed it, open up Cursor, and what you're going to need to do first is make sure that you have the composer feature enabled. So simply open it up on a new folder. You can create your own folder. So in this case, we're just going to create a new base project. Just name it whatever you want. We'll just name it world of AI. And once you have done that, we're going to select this folder and we're going to open it up. Now, what I want you guys to do is click on these three buttons and click on the help button and show all commands. Now, what you're going to do is search up the composer feature. And it's super easy to do so. Just search up Composer and it's going to basically bring up Enable Composer. So just simply click on that and you're going to be able to now open up Composer with the Control i command, which is for Windows. But if you're on Mac OS, I believe it's con Command Shift and I or Command L, I believe. So now that you have Cursor and Versal set up, what you're going to need to do is install next.js. And you're going to need to do this with Shad CN. The reason why is because we're going to be utilizing the beautiful designs from Shad CN to build our components for our UI or for our app. So simply install this for next.js. You can easily do this with your own project. You can just follow through with this installation and you can easily get started right away. So first things first, what you want to do if you want to install these components is install node.js. Once you have done so, you can then start installing the packages from chat.cn and you can easily do so. What you can do is you want to start off by copying this command mpx chatcn and paste it into your command prompt. Once you have done that, you can configure all of these components such as the JSON files and well, that's it. Basically, you can then start working on utilizing all of the components that you would get with chatcn. Now, this is obviously optional. If you want to utilize these commands, you can do so. You're going to get better, cleaner designs with this. Essentially, what we're going to be doing is utilizing the composer feature and feeding it different prompts so that it can open up within 
v0 so that it can execute those different prompts that you would get generated from composer within v0 now i'll explain this as we go further but what you want to do now is once you have created your folder you want to create a new folder called prompts and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a new file which is going to be a markdown v0 file so you can just simply name it v0 markdown and once you have done that you want to paste in this prompt which i'll leave in the description below this is what's going to be able to help us generate better prompts within v0 itself essentially these prompts will be used for iterative prompt designing and ui designing so that we get better designs with v0 now what you can do is you can basically open up your composer now you can do this by simply just pressing Control i if you're on windows you can do this to open up the smaller component over here or you can do Control shift i and you're going to get this larger component so now what we're going to be doing is requesting the composer to create an app for us based off the prompt that we have given it. In this case, I said that I want to create a client onboarding flow for my YouTube channel, World of AI. And with the composer ref or sorry, the cursor reference feature, which is at, you can add the file. So in this case, we're going to add the V0 file and this is where it's going to activate the prompt. So now we can just simply click enter and it's going to start on focusing on creating the components that are necessary so we can see that it's working on creating this flow for us and it's basically creating a better prompt for us and essentially what is happening is that it's going to create this complex prompt that could be fed fed into v0 because v0 uses query parameters and it can actually generate a link for us which we saw previously in this case it had started creating that prompt for us so we can take a look at that by clicking on command shift i and you can see that it had created that command or that url for us and once you click on the link it's going to start on focusing on creating your app for you and you can see that it is quite similar to anthropics artifacts it starts generating your code and you're going to get a visualization of your application which you can see over here it starts creating your onboarding uh, app which is going to have a multi-step process and it's going to start coding this and you can iteratively keep on designing this and creating components with the shad cn components that we installed also just an fyi this link won't open until you sign up with Versal, so make sure you do so otherwise this link won't prompt open and look at that this is the ui that was created for the onboarding and it has animations and you can see it looks really really cool and this was something that i was able to prompt open with the help of my beautiful cursor composer tool and what's happening right now is that the code that was basically created has been implemented into Composer automatically. So you can see all the changes being made within this V0 tool on the Composer backend. And you can easily copy the changes that have been made over here. And you can even have Cursor basically tweak certain things and make it even better within that IDE. So I've accepted the changes that the composer has made and it basically created this onboarding flow.tsx file. So now I can then even have the control K feature have different prompts set in to even tweak this even better. So you can even ask the composer, please refine the code and it's going to work on making changes for you. And it will even install the right dependencies that are needed to have this app even more functional. So you can see that the composer is onboarding different tools and plugins to help me in this case, make this even better. And that's the flexibility of this amazing tool where you can combine composer that will be your backend creator and as in your coder, and it will also utilize V0 to create the front end components for you. Now with that exact same prompt, someone was able to create this beautiful interactive interface. And this was done within a couple of seconds. Now, this is the prompt that was used. I want to create an observability page with all my user API request list. And this was something that was done within Cursor and with that exact same procedure that we had worked on. And that's about it for today's video, guys. That's how you're gonna be able to generate the best of the best apps, in my opinion, with AI by combining Versal with Cursor. This is better than Adair, this is better than Cloud Dev, and I believe that this is gonna be the best option for you to generate code as well as applications. So I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you wanna access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, 
like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.